Has anyone got a brolly I can borrow? Hello there, and welcome to another The Hunter Classic mission video. My name is Wimperman. These animals are interrupting, and in this video, I'm going to be tackling... Oh god, which is the mission button? I think that was right. I'm going to be tackling smoke pole mission number four. I think this is number four. It's here on Pickabean Bay, which is why I'm in my green pyjamas. A sandbar stag from 35 metres or more. A banteng from the same. A grey water buffalo and a rusa deer from the same. Using any permitted, basically, uh, muzzle loading weapon. So I'm going to be bringing the caplock muzzle loader. Again, with no scope, as I've mentioned in other videos. This is one of those few weapons that it feels dirty to bring a scope. It stopped raining. I'm also bringing the snake bite, which as most of you know, I'm still trying to level it up. It's just in case I need to take anything out quietly. I do have a mix of flavours, both the standard and the tracer arrows. For those who were wondering... I typically use the tracers while I'm walking about and then the non-tracers when I'm firing from a tree stand because typically I don't really need to know the trajectory of the arrows when I'm in a tree stand because normally I'm firing from so close that that's not really necessary. Obviously there have been occasions where I've forgotten to switch them out. The astute menu will also notice I'm bringing the 405. I probably won't even get to use it, but I have it in case I need to. Um, now, plan-wise, I've started at 11. I'm going to go to Sambar Golden Tree Stand place. Because I figured I might as well start there with the Sambar, since I know where I can find them. Sometimes there are Rusa in the area, so I'm probably going to do that as well in this area. And then the other two, I'm going to do the river walk. And uh, it probably won't... Uh, oh, it's not even probably. It definitely won't be in the same hunt. Uh, so, that's the plan. I'm going to pop my hat back on and I will see you over at the tree stand. Probably. Except... <laughs> I didn't notice, and I should have, that uh, the caplock muzzle loading rifle is not going to be good for the Banteng and the Buffalo. I'm going to need to bring the inline. Luckily, I didn't get very far. As you can see, there, there that little sliver of pink is as far as I got. Uh, right, so let's, <laughs> let's sort that out. So you can disregard some of what I said just now. Um, I might have to leave some of this ammo behind. Just to clear a bit of space. Right, let me sort that out. I'll see you in a mo. Alright, there we go then. Scope. So, I'm also bringing, obviously, the 45 Sabode for the Rusa. Uh, yes, I'm also bringing an extra set of water bottles. Now, I do have to leave a bit of space because I accidentally left a flag over there during the last video. Right, well then, I'll load this up and see you over there. As you can see, I am crawling like a worm up to the tree stand. <laughs> so, I'm hoping there'll just be a sandbar stag within line of sight. And I won't need to use the spray. So I thought I'd start recording. Just in case I get in that tree stand and there is one visible. Okay. Just got in it. Let's have a look. See what we can see. There's something sleeping there. Uh, hind. These are hinds and stags, aren't they? I'm, I'm pretty sure Binky has corrected me before. I think I was calling them bulls and cows. But it could have been the other way round. Uh, there's something there, but I think that's a cow, yeah. No, hind. A female! 
Oh, there's something moving. Something moving. There. Oh, another hind. Okay. So, I'm going to have to crawl over there-ish. Yeah. So, it needs to be over 35. So, I think down there will be fine. So, I'm going to crawl over there and do the spray. Mmm, wee wee. Piss. Back to the tree stand. Back in it. Okay, I'll bring you back when something turns up. Although, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they're asleep. One year in spray has run out later. Uh, right. A rooster buck has turned up. I It called from that ish direction. So when I renewed the spray, I also did a call for him. So I'm going to take him now. <laughs> Fuck me, that was lucky. <laughs> Joe... <laughs> So, let me just explain what the fuck just happened. Oh, no! <laughs> I've spent so long hunting with this, the bow, which of course works slightly different from the rifles, because this, you press and hold the button and then release it to release the arrow, right? So... <laughs> I pressed and held the button <laughs> for the rifle, <sighs> thinking, yeah, it, it was just habit, because I've been using the bow so long. <sighs> so, the plan was I was going to pop him and then, and then start a new hunt or something. I guess I'll be starting a new hunt anyway. And I mean, technically I've done it, he is popped. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Oh well, take two. Here we are again. Let's see what we can see. I'll bring you back if I come across the stag. Shh. Be very quiet. He's sleeping. So I came over. Why am I still whispering? So I <laughs> I came over to do the spray, saw a brown thing, and uh, yeah, saw him. So the red dot I had put down to where I was going to spray, which is exactly where I was lying, is about 47-ish metres. So he's 20 metres beyond that. I think that's going to be in range of the inline muzzle loader the cap lock might have struggled but i think this one will be fine so i'm going to crawl back to the tree and take a shot on him assuming i can see him actually what why am i going back to the tree stand i could yeah, I don't need to go to the tree stand, do I? I can just shoot from here. Now, that's definitely a sandbar, isn't it? I know I've got the info up several times. Yes, it is. Okay, here we go then. One dead male sandbar. Right, well then, let's pick him up and get confirmation. I can't be bothered to get the third uh, track. Uh, 118, got your number. How does that stack up? Not very good. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I mean, even a hundred more than that would still not be anywhere near my PB. But there we go. There's confirmation. So, I'll see you when I come across something else then. So, around here should be roosters. So, do you know what? All this time, I haven't seen that. But I don't think it works for the tent. No, it doesn't, does it? It will do for those. Okay, can I dot? <laughs> Seriously? I didn't even point at that. Right, can I dot on them now? Yes, I can. 
So I think I'm going to leave that off. But I mean, the tents are still annoying. Anyway, moan. See you in a bit. Rusa inbound. I've made it here. That was her last call. It is a doe, but it will do. Um. Oh, there she is. So, no, there we go. Definitely got the 45 Sabo loaded. About there ish will do. Okay. Okay, I got her three tracks the call, the blood, and one just behind me. Right, let's get confirmation. Yes, over 35. There we go. Mission objective completed. So, yeah, I'm going to walk the river next then. See if we can find a Banteng or a Grey Water Buffalo. Rightio, Banteng ahead. Obviously a Water Buffalo doing what Water Buffaloes do in the water. Which is Buffalo. Cow over there. Another cow over there. <laughs> I've already bowled a bull. Bull a bow. Bowled a bull. Bowled a bull, bowled a bull, bowled a bull. So, let's see if we can get one of these Bantang. Oh, blimey. I red dotted them. There, there's one, you can just see it now. I didn't think it was quite that far away. Maybe there's more than one. That's the one I dotted. Right, I'll see you when I get closer. Okay, I'm getting quite close to the bull. How close? Under 50. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing that's going to kill it, just not immediately. Right, I'll see you when I come across his body. Uh, that was the bull, by the way. I don't know. I might have guessed by the fact that I was saying, hey! Not too far later. Ah, there he is. One dead bull shot with a muzzle loader with the correct ammo <laughs> from 35 meters or more. And as you can see on the hunter mate, he didn't run too far. The first X there was, well, actually it's probably the third X was him because he had a bunch of cows around him that I... Yeah, anyway, commentary. Here he is then. Let's see what he scores. I thought it was a bit further forward than that, but never mind. 152. Blimey, that's not a bad bull. Not a bad bull at all. 32 gems is a bit pants, to be honest. But there you go. Three. Objective complete. Okay, so I will see you when I come across a grey... Grey? Is it grey water buffalo? Grey? I think it's grey. I think it should be grey. A grey one. Is it a grey one? Yeah, it's a grey. I wonder which shade of grey it is. Probably grey, I would have thought. Okay, so that'll either be this hunt or a different hunt. I'm going to get a spot on the... What's that? Oh, it's the, <laughs> it's the toolkit on the tower. <laughs> Hi-oh then, see you in a bit. Right here then, a new hunt, a new day. A new day, a new hunt, I should be saying. So this is my plan. I'm going to go up here and check this area. And then I'm going to cross the river and follow the river bank down to the tower. Then I'm going to go and check the three little uh, ponds. What are they called? Happy camper tent ponds, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, and then I'm going to probably cross the river again because down here is a spawn location apparently. Then back across the river up to there. And then from there I don't actually know because this entire swampy area could be full of buffalo. So who knows where I'm going to go from there, that way or that way. I'll see where the aminors take me. Of course, 
that's going to be the case all along here. If I get to here and there's tracks leading this way, then I won't be doing that. But, yeah. Right, well then, let's see if we can find this grey walker buffalo, shall we? I'm not sure whether she's just standing in sunlight or not, but I think that might be a... Mm, grey buffalo, possibly? I don't don't know can't really tell I'll shoot it and see <laughs> okay no that's definitely a normal never mind false alarm nope and nope denied denied Uh -uh. I do believe I have found one. I think she's a grey. When compared to the one I just uh -uh on, that he definitely looks blacker than she does. The only problem is, of course, that she's way over there. <laughs> so, wish me luck. A long, ooh, pretty, bloody walk later. Right, I've caught up with her. And she is sort of moving this direction. Annoyingly. So, I'm going to wait for her to come out. There we go. I'm not sure she is a grey now, but it's worth a try, I think. Is that her over there? Possibly. And that does look like lung blood. Ah. Okay, so that one over there wasn't her. Although the one over there, I don't know, it looked like it might have been more grey than this one. <laughs> I don't know. So I think. If this one doesn't count, I am going to try that one over there. Yeah, she doesn't look very grey up close, does she? Yeah. Boo! Boo! Fucking boo! Yeah, that looks like a grey water buffalo to me. Shit, didn't pay attention to the distance. Distance is good. Bang and a puff of smoke. And off she runs. <laughs> yeah, she definitely looks grey. Bantangs over there. Yeah, there's quite a few Bantang. Oh, there were. <laughs> there's another one over there. That was a bit farmer, wasn't that? Oh, well, there there is. Next to that tratter. Right. Let's go find her blood. I'll see you when I get to her body. Actually, before I get there, I haven't had a moan in this video, and I don't want you guys feeling uh, short-changed in any way, so let's have a moan. It was one of the two buffalo bulls that I said nope and nope to. It was over... I was here-ish, or there, and they were over here-ish. So I came across tracks, I thought I'd follow it, this is what the bastard made me do. What kind of fucking wonky ass legs does he have? Moan over. Ooh. There she is. There she is. There she is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely grey. That, that is unquestionably grey. Grey. More than 35. Eh, you can't see what I'm doing with that sound effect, but that eh sound effect is a double middle fingers to the screen. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, this isn't the worst mission I've ever had, but it, it was just that. That kind of frustrated me a little bit. 
Right, well, there we go then. That's the... Oh, let's actually have a quick look at the next mission, which I don't know what it's going to involve. So we're off to Timbergold. Rocky Mountain Elk, shot to the heart. Okay. A Puma, shot to the lungs. A Charging Grizzly. And a Male Bighorn, scoring at least 150. Without hitting the skull. That's a weird objective component that I think okay so this is definitely going to take a couple of days I think isn't it yes <laughs> right well then yes that'll be the end of the video then so thank you very much for watching I hope you got some enjoyment out of it and hopefully I will see you in another one so thank you again and goodbye